Key terms. Outcomes. Probability. Sample space. Event. Discrete random variable. Continuous random variable. Probability distribution. Cumulative probability distribution. Cumulative distribution function. CDF. Cumulative distribution. Bernoulli random variable. Bernoulli distribution. Probability density function. PDF. Density function, density, expected value, expectation, mean, variance, standard deviation, moments of a distribution, skewness, kurtosis, outlier, leptokurtic, arth moment, standardized random variable, joint probability distribution, marginal probability distribution, conditional distribution, Conditional expectation, conditional mean, law of iterated expectations, conditional variance, Bayes rule, independently distributed, independent, covariance, correlation, uncorrelated, normal distribution, standard normal distribution, multivariate normal distribution, bivariate normal distribution, Chi squared distribution, student T distribution, T distribution, F distribution, simple random sampling, population, identically distributed, independently and identically distributed, IID, sample average, sample mean, sampling distribution, exact finite sample distribution, asymptotic distribution, Law of large numbers, convergence and probability, consistency, central limit theorem, asymptotic normal distribution. Review the concepts. Uh, 2.1 examples of random variables used in this chapter include uh, A, the uh, four groups, A through D. A, the sex of the next person you meet. B, the number of times a wireless network fails. C, the uh, time it takes to commute to school. And D, whether it is raining or not. Explain why each can be thought of as random. Answer. These outcomes are random because... They are not known with certainty until they actually occur. You do not know with certainty the gender of the next person you will meet, the time that it will take to commute to school, and so forth. 2.2 Suppose that the random variables big X and big Y are independent and you know their distributions. Explain why knowing the value of big X tells you nothing about the value of big Y. To answer 2.2, if big X and big Y are independent, then the probability of big Y is less than or equal to Y, given big X equals X equals the probability of big Y is less than or equal to Y for all values of Y and X. That is, independence means that the conditional and marginal distributions of big Y are identical, so that learning the value of big X does not change the probability distribution of Y. Knowing the value of big X says nothing about the probability that y big y will make uh, will take on different values